Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and I'm here with a different kind of content because I still don't think there's much, much time for me to actually read the SCP stuff. And also because I just saw of it and got reminded of it from yesterday's video, which is uh, creepy stories with the a theme of of intensely important rules that you have to follow in order to survive. Luckily, I found a subreddit for that called Rules Horror. I think I'll read a few stories from there today, and we'll see how we feel about it going forward. Starting off, we have something called The Whistler. So it's been about three days now, right? Yeah, time goes slower by. Time goes by slow when you can't sleep. And the constant sound of the soothing but petrifying humming and whistling that's going on in your basement. Luckily, I have an answer for you. A being beyond human comprehension has taken your basement as its home now. It might be scary thinking about something being down there. But luckily, there are a few steps and precautions that can be taken to prevent you from inevitable demise. One, from now on, your basement can no longer be accessible at night without risk of being taken. If the sun goes, if the sun's down, it's not a good idea to go down. It's suicide. 2. If you go down during the day, you may notice some things have been messed up or moved. It is important to not readjust anything that's out of place. It doesn't like it when their nest has been messed with. It risks it coming up from the basement. <sighs> 3. One of the more important rules. Do not, under any circumstances, have anyone over to your house while the creature is nesting in your basement. You don't want anyone wandering where they shouldn't. 4. For some reason, the creature likes to redecorate certain pictures. If you suspect such behavior is happening, do not look at them. They are beyond what the humans find scary and will keep you up for the rest of your life. 5. If you've been in the basement recently and suddenly hear the whistling, do one of two things. If you're close to the stairs, run as fast as you can. If you're not, close your eyes and accept your fate. Best you, you don't see what it will do to you. 6. If you do hear the whistling and manage to get upstairs, do not return to the basement for a bit. And do not tend to the screaming. 7. All pets must leave the home, as they could adventure into the grass of the monster in the basement. 8. If for any reason the whistling gets louder or softer, this doesn't mean it's gone or closer. It wants your blood and will do anything to trick you into giving it. 9. Don't try to move houses. It will follow. It's best to not share the curse given to you by making it someone else's problem as well as yours. 10. Hope to God the power doesn't go out. We need to have the light. It's close to the basement and door always active to prevent it from moving. 11. Live your life or don't. There's no real way of getting rid of it. As said before, it's beyond your wildest nightmares. And 12. One last tip of advice. I'm gonna have to stop reading that there, as I would prefer to not not lose my channel. Crazy idea, I know. You can read it yourself. I'm not reading that. <sighs> right, that was a good one. This one might be good too. It's called Rules for Dimension 2A. So you're in a Dimension 2A. Oh, you don't know about alternate dimensions, do you? Basically, you transfer to another dimension when you do a set of things. 
For example, Dimension 2A requires you to have a paranormal encounter and not sleep for 48 hours right after. But here's a list, list of rules to help you escape. 1. Always have a flashlight. I had spare batteries, a gun, a knife, food and water, and any type of meat. The equipment should be near where you first entered Dimension 2A. 2. If children are not human, they can shift shift to kill you, so don't do anything to them. If you do, then refer to 2A. To rule 2A, I mean. 2A. If you bother the children and run as far as you can and hide. You can't fight them, so if you get found, you must shine them with your flashlight to scare them away. This is less effective than hiding, so it won't work every time, but it's worth trying. 3. Don't go into the dark unless you absolutely have to. They have better eyesight in the dark. If your flashlight battery is run out, refer to rule 3A. If you go into the dark, you should be okay unless you hear screeching. If you do hear screeching, get your whole body into any light you can. They will eat anything not in the light. It won't work as well as the sun, but it should repel them. 4. If you are in a building and hear scratching, either shoot it out with your gun and hope you hit them, or throw meat at it. They will get distracted eating the meat and you can run. 5. If you hear something running towards you, run to it. It may sound like the wrong thing to do, but they are they are the only helpful entity. You can call him Jerry because he seems to like that name. 6. If you see a deformed animal, stab with your knife. It doesn't matter what animal it is, they are one of them. 7. There are no humans that you can see in Dimension 2A, so if you see someone, kill them. 8. When you inevitably find a door or big door, check what it looks like first. If it's green, it is safe and you should enter it. If it's red, you have to enter it because they are coming. Red doors lead eat into Dimension 3A, but it is safer than what is coming. Any other color and you should run away and find a new door, because the other colors will open 20 seconds after being found and they live behind the other colored doors. That's all the rules you need to know, unless they, they got there, there's a rule book for Dimension 3A right there if you found a red door. Good luck escaping. And rules for being an entity. Hey, these are very good for me. Whew. Congratulations, being a fun spoken horse. We have pulled you out of the ninth ring of hell for your first day on the job. You'll take many forms and bend many realities. This may sound daunting, but threat not. Here's a full, comprehensive of rules for your first ent eternity. Available in many languages, such as. I can't read that, so let's keep with English. Rule 1 General rule of thumb. If you have those, that is. The survivors within your realm are also following a set of rules. It is your job to severely punish these steps. However, or you do it is up to you. Just try not to spare, tear space time too much. It makes the. Multiverse oil caretaker's job is extra tedious. Rule 2. Handling human's impulsive trait known as uh, emotion. Was a human you may be wondering? It's our favorite play toy. These bag beings have chemical imbalances called emotions, which makes them act irrational. It's required that you draw as much of the emotion called terror. They start emulated by things that they cannot comprehend or something that rapidly appears posing a threat. Rule 2b Human Prejudice. Humans being irrational will try and kill things that aren't at them. They are terrible at peace and are creatures of unspeakable horror. For example, in Universe. That's a long number. 1552526662. A place known as America exists within it, refines as a large anomaly called Ohio. Many of the people from America are of low IQ and shoot at things they do not understand. Rule 3 Understanding your victim's terminology. 
If you manage to retain your victim's rulebook, you may notice they refer to things such as it or them. This is referring to you. Humans cannot comprehend you, so they use simple pronouns. Use the rules referring on how to avoid you to predict their tactics. <sighs> Rule 4. Evading angelic beings slash enforcers. You see, our terror feeding and reality bending operation isn't exactly appreciated by the big G. Something about unholy conduct or whatever. Angels are very hard to miss. Bright light, odd proportions. If you see them, we're as fast as you can. If they catch you, well, we don't actually know what happens. But it stands against your goals, so don't get caught. That's all. Have fun. Management. Yeah, I think this would be better if it was more further explored, but a lot of these um, rules are a little bit... meh for them. <sighs> I remember better uh, rules, um, stories that I've heard before. Right, I think that's it for now. If you liked this video somehow, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time for either this or more backroom stuff. Where are you taking a break from SCP-related stuff? Because I'm a little bit tired.